it's Lookin' Bratz, aka Dom. Welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I love to talk about dolls. Typically, I love to talk about Bratz, but in this video, we're actually going to talk about Barbie. So, I've done Barbie videos before. Don't act brand new if you've been here before. But I do have some Barbies that I need to open that I've been sitting on for a bit. There was a restock on Mattel Creations for some Barbie movie dolls that I've been wanting for quite some time. And some other dolls have made their way to Walmart and Target. So I was like, you know what, let me let me get them while I can. I think the, the stock shortage for the Barbie movie dolls has been kind of like over. Like you can kind of relatively get most of them easily, except for the gold jumpsuit one for like the disco dancing Barbie. And I really loved the Barbie movie. And I didn't really get to talk about it much when it came out because of the strikes. And I was trying to be respectful of everything that was going on. So it's been uh, quite a bit since that movie came out. It's been like six, seven months, seven, eight months now. I don't know. Time. But I got the Western Barbie, which is the one I really wanted the most. And I was actually kind of upset because I was like, wow, like I cannot find her anywhere. Like she's not available and she's not retail price. So I was like, I, I don't know if I'll ever get this doll. But I did finally get her. And I got her from the Mattel Creations website. They did a restock. They also had this. I don't know what to call this. Is it like plaid? Like the pastel plaid look from the movie as well. I really loved this look. I also loved that look from... It was like the dress with the heart on it. And then that other look when she first visits Weird Barbie's dream house. Like, I really love that look, but we didn't get to really see that in doll form, I believe, which was upsetting. Um, and I also got the rollerblading Barbie. Another one I really wanted, and she's a lot more accessible, I will say. Her and Ken in these looks. Uh, you can find pretty easily at Walmart. I was getting a little worried at first. They started popping up in November, and then I couldn't find them uh in January and then I finally found them again so I got her I just want to get I do want to get the gold jumpsuit Barbie at some point I would love to get President Barbie but I just cannot find her anywhere now which was weird because she was kind of available for quite some time and I would like to get the the jumpsuit the jumpsuit Barbie like the one with the pink jumpsuit with the glasses when uh she's going undercover and she's like in disguise I would love to get that Barbie I actually would love to get a few of those because they are more affordable and I would love to get the fashion pack and dress the rest up in the fashion packs but we'll see if that can even pan out I don't know maybe that's a dream that I won't fulfill but I would like to fulfill that dream and I got this car which I'm not going to open but my friend Emil gave this to me for Christmas and it is the Hot Wheels Barbie car and I did want this so thank you to Emil we're going to open up some dolls um yeah I'm kind of excited because I've been looking forward to opening these, but I've been sitting on them for weeks now and I just haven't done anything. Wow. These are like very easy to open. And well, I don't know why I'm so shocked that they're easy to open, but anyways, I haven't bought any of the $50 range Barbie dolls before, like the Barbie movie dolls. So I didn't know they came with certificates, but they do come with these very just paper certificates. I feel like they could have done more with this but whatever like either do something like nice with it or just don't include it at all honestly is my uh is how i'm feeling about some things from mattel <laughs> i've had some uh some negative things to say about mattel quality lately and um you know what for the most part i was really impressed with the barbie movie dolls like i think the quality of them is pretty decent um could it be like slightly better? Yes, of course. Um, but I think that they did what they could with it. Do I think that some of these should have been $50? Hell no, they should not have been $50. I think at most some of these should have been like $30, $35. Uh, 50 seemed a little steep for some of them, I won't lie. Even like the, the Perfect Day Barbie. I, I only have Perfect Day Barbie and Ken and I have the cruiser, like the, the remote control one. 
And um, I think 25 for those was a little expensive. I think they maybe should have been like 5 to $10 cheaper. Considering um, it's very much like the original Barbie's Fashionista's quality. Which was a lot cheaper back in the day. And I know like inflation, whatever. Um, whatever excuses we can make up for Mattel. But yeah, here is the plaid Barbie. Her, They all have the same face. Um, mine... The placement on mine is very interesting. I don't, I don't dislike it. I will say, I think she looks pretty good. The articulation on the bodies I found very interesting. It does take me back to like the, the fashionistas of like the early 2010s. Yes, that era of Barbie. And I think that's why I really love the Barbie movie doll so much because I love the looks. Um, I love the movie. I thought Margot Robbie did such a fantastic job. That whole cast was really, really just amazing. And I, I want to see more looks from the movie. I pre-ordered Weird Barbie, but I don't think she comes out till like May or something like that. Maybe she comes out in March. I don't know. But it was kind of like the, the rollout of the dolls was ridiculous, but I think the dolls themselves were generally pretty good. I don't think this body, though, I don't think it's the Fashionista's body from long ago. I think this was one that was introduced like mid to late 2010. Someone let me know. If you do know, I'm not sure. The earrings are pretty good though. I like the earrings. It looks like it's like electroplated on the ball here. And then it's like a faux pearl drop. That's, those actually look pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with that. The fabrics and everything, honestly, for the most part are pretty good. I like that they added the tool under here to fluff out this skirt. And I think these are two separate pieces. Yeah, these look to be two separate pieces. They have these snap enclosures, so they're not Velcro. So it's pretty cool. I I really love the movie. I saw it like four or five times, I think. And actually, I am planning an event at my job that is Barbie themed. And um, I'm really looking forward to that. Which is like, you know, funny because I don't, I think my job is kind of far removed from what I do on social media. But a lot of it does, there's a lot of elements that I think kind of cross over. And because Barbie became such a, the movie became such a cultural ph phenomenon in the past year, I think. it. I really was able to, like, edge my way into doing, like, a Barbie-themed event. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, this Barbie's pretty cute. These ones do come with stands, and they're, like, the, uh... These ones, the, the clear with the, with the white base. I am going to wash these up just because, like, the amount of hair gel... Like, the hair presentation is absolutely ridiculous, like... Please. And also, like, why did we need such a big box for these? Like, the box size difference between, like, the quote-unquote budget ones, I just, I felt like that was kind of ridiculous as well. Some people didn't like the face sculpt either with these dolls, but I actually quite like the Margot sculpt. I thought it was pretty cool. What do they call this sculpt? Oh, they don't call it anything. It's just 2022 on it <laughs> from when they sculpted it. I don't know, I feel like sometimes you call things like the Superstar Sculpt or the Mackie Sculpt or that kind of thing. So do we call this like the Movie Sculpt? Do we call it the Margot Sculpt? What do we call it? Overall, pretty nice. I feel like she should have come with a bag or something. I don't know. I wish the boxes actually had the looks of the dolls that they were portraying. I think that would have helped tie it in a little bit more with the presentation. Um, yeah, just some general notes of um, how I feel about those about these little details here. Another thing I will say about the doll rollout is I really genuinely think had they done it, it would have sold really well. Produced a dream house based off the one in the movie. I think that would have done pretty well. It would have been super expensive, but I think people would have bought it, honestly. I think people still would. Truthfully, I think people still would. But I don't know. I feel like Mattel doesn't like to seize the moment sometimes. Um, I'm like, for a company that, like, scales back in a lot of departments and doesn't really deliver where it should, like, they have opportunities to make money and they don't. They don't take the opportunities to make more money. And I just do not understand that. Like... I don't know. We're opening up Western Barbie. And that's the thing that sucks is that I feel like not and this is not against the designers or the people working on these brands per se but i guess i don't know like who is it the the higher ups the the ceos whatever um which there's other issues to explore there but 
I don't know. Like, I just, I, I don't, uh, I don't think they care about their consumer base. And I think that really sucks. I think they really just don't care about the people purchasing the dolls or supporting their products. And I wish, I wish it wasn't like that for Mattel brand fans. See, like, this looks like a damn mess. This hair looks crazy. How do they put this out and, like, think this is okay? The doll itself is really cute. I love these earrings. Oh, the star earrings. And I like that the earrings are electroplated. Maybe that's why it's $50. I don't know. <laughs> the, you know what? I have notes about the construction of the pieces. But I will say, overall, I do like it. I like that they added the stars here. They're not, like, real studs, though. They're, like, I don't know, some sort of... Maybe they are real studs. They just look kind of funky. But I like them. I think the top could have been a little bit more fitting to the body. I like the, what is this, the ascot? <laughs> um, I do like that they have details on the back, which is honestly pretty shocking for a Mattel doll. <laughs> I like the stars and everything and the horseshoe up here. The bell bottoms look pretty good. I do feel like this should have been real lacing. It looks kind of weird printed on, but... I guess beggars can't be choosers. I am shocked that the boots have painted details in different colors. We've got silvers and golds all around the boots. And she does have a hat that will cover up this mess on her head. And the hat is just a solid white. And there is actually like a real fabric ribbon around it with white stars. Honestly, a pretty good doll. Even though she's $50, I don't think she should have been $50. I'm pretty satisfied with the doll. Also, something else I don't like about the Barbie movie doll rollout or whatever is that they introduced so many good characters and so many, like, integral characters to the story. I'm ultimately glad we got, like, some of the characters. Like, of course, we got Ken. We got Simu Lu's doll, which I don't, I didn't personally care for. Um, for, like, various reasons. <laughs> I did not care about Simu Liu's dolls. Uh, we got a lot of Ken, which I just feel like I get the message of having so many Kens, but also, like, it also feels like it defeated the purpose of the movie's message. Like, I feel like there should have been less Kens. Um, I like that we got Issa Rae's doll, but I just, I don't know. We got America Ferreira. I feel like we should have gotten the Sasha doll and Sasha uh, I feel like we should have gotten the other Barbies I would have loved to have seen like all of the other Barbies like um Harry Neff's um is that Har or Harry Neff and the other like characters who I felt like played a vital role in the movie like Alexandra Ship like I feel like they would have they should have been dolls they should have had their own dolls and I'm really shocked and also there's like other looks from the movie that Barbie like the Margot Barbie had that I think would have suited for doll release. Again, I think Mattel is just completely missing the bag. They produced some good looks, but I feel like they could have produced more. So we have these two so far. They both have stands. These are both the $50 price range dolls. Again, the pricing is a little awkward for what you're getting. <laughs> Now we're going to open up the Rollerblading Barbie, which is another one I was looking forward to. Let me get these girls out of the frame real quick. So after this, I will have five Barbie movie dolls. If these are the only ones I get, honestly, I wouldn't be mad, truthfully. Would I like some of the other ones? Yes, of course. But I'm, I'm not going to stress it. I honestly wasn't stressing it at all. Was I a little upset about it? Yes. But I was kind of like, you know what? If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. But now I have them, so I guess it was meant to be ultimately. And I I really loved what the Barbie movie did for a lot of doll collectors. Wow, these are real rollerblades. These actually... And there's painted details on these. I love that so much. I love what the Barbie movie did for a lot of doll collectors. I think it made a lot of us feel kind of seen, especially like the adult doll collectors who... I don't know, I feel like we get ostracized a lot and... um. I wouldn't say, like, the movie, like, helped normalize it, but I think it kind of just uh, made us feel good. I, at least it made me feel good. I think a, a lot of my doll collector friends have also felt that way about the movie. It was like, you know, we found something that 
um, that was fun. Like, it was such a fun movie. It was such a lighthearted movie with a deep message. And was it, like, base level message? Yeah, of course. Like, it wasn't going, like, deep deep, but I think it was going deep enough to get to the general public. And I appreciated that. And it really reminded me of, like, a movie from like the 2000s like just a light-hearted movie like a rom-com but not really like a rom-com just kind of like a com because there wasn't really much romance to it which I also appreciated I appreciated that it wasn't about Barbie and Ken like getting together and stuff like I don't think that was needed at all but I think some people like felt that way just because they were so attached to the idea of Barbie and Ken but anyways going off on my tangents about the Barbie movie. It was just a fun time. Like, I appreciated it for what it was. And I thought overall it was just a good movie. And as a doll collector, I really, really loved the movie. And I loved, like, you know, trying to spot all the references to things in the movie. Like, of course, like, there was the Bratz reference. And then there was the references to, like, other Barbie dolls that had um, come out over the years. Do I think they could have done a little bit of a better job with the references? Yes. I think, um, I think there could have been a little bit more research done <laughs> in that regard. But, you know, hey, I think for what it was, like, there was a lot of love that went into the movie. Um, I loved the set design. I loved the costume design. I, I loved the acting. I just felt like you could really tell that it was a labor of love for the people involved in it. She has a lot more, like... Uh, plastic ties compared to the $50 ones and the hair is like very like weird it's not like gelled down it's just like a mess so she's gonna have to get a good wash I'll probably like boil wash most of these so yeah the face is the same which is not very shocking there she has her visor her visor is pretty cool she definitely gives me like the 90s Barbie vibe I'm gonna have to like glue those down or something. <laughs> the outfit's pretty good. It's all one piece, yeah, it's all sewn together, which for the price point, uh, not unexpected. Overall, like I do like the doll. Oh, and she has the Impala logo. Cause Impala is the name of the brand that did the skates in real life and they're also on the sides. It's cool. Yeah, I like this. I like this doll. I like all three of these dolls. Like, again, if these are the only other Barbie movie dolls I get, I think I'll be pretty okay. Like, I think I'll, I'm pretty satisfied with what I got. And I'm glad, ultimately, that I got the other dolls. Especially the Western one and the plaid one. And I really did want the roller skating one. So, yeah, I think it's all worked out in my favor to some degree. But what did you think about the Barbie movies and the, the Barbie movie? <laughs> What did you think about the Barbie movie, the live action movie? And what did you think about the dolls? You know, I felt at first that this was really going to be sort of like a new era for Barbie and that we were going to get better Barbie dolls and better quality. But I think as we've seen over this past season so far, we aren't really getting that. We're getting like some better dolls here and there, but we're seeing a lot of changes and I'm kind of scared to see what other changes are in the works for the Barbie brand because I think Barbie does have the capacity. I think Mattel has the capacity to bring Barbie to a higher level than what she's been over the past eight, nine years or so. And I'm intrigued to see what they do because Extra, I think, is canceled. I think the minis and stuff are canceled. Those are the things I was looking forward to. I think uh, Fashionistas has taken sort of a new direction. I don't like those tribute dolls. I think for the most part, they're kind of ugly. I think the design choices, like the execution of them was super duper questionable. I think the faces don't look the best. I, I don't like the tribute dolls, especially like I remember the Nutcracker tribute dolls and those were super ugly. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I don't know. I feel like you shouldn't do a tribute doll if it's going to tarnish the the legacy of what the original was like Bratz Rock Angels like those anniversary dolls looked horrible like don't do it if you cannot do it well or decent enough yeah I am intrigued very intrigued by this Barbie Dream Besties thing that might be happening or Barbie Dream Teens as the leaks called them I'm not going to post pictures here because a lot of channels and uh, accounts are being taken down for leaks 
in the Barbie sphere, in the doll online sphere, which is very unfortunate. But I'm very intrigued to see what happens with those. Those kind of pique my interest, but again, we'll see what happens. It looks like there might be some sort of Mycene collector dolls happening this year, so... I guess only time will tell, like, what happens with all of that. I'm very interested to see, like, what what's going to happen for dolls in the next year. And I think the Barbie movie dolls and, like, the Barbie movie phenomenon that it was last year, I think that is going to sort of influence what we're going to see in the next year. So, yeah, that was all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more doll content, maybe some more Barbie content, who knows? I'm sure there will be more Barbie content. Like, that's a given, but... <laughs> Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on all socials at Brats, hold the G on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, Coffee, Amazon storefront, all linked in the description of this video. And check out LookinBrats.com. Some cool things happening over there. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.